Well, Peter, in this week's tip of the week, we're going to we get the million dollar question for you. A, a problem that affects a lot of golfers, how to fix the slice. Certainly, Jono. I, I see that a lot of times people have problems, especially with the driver slicing. Well, what most golfers that have a problem with a slice have is they have a misunderstanding of what they need to do through the impact and follow through area. A lot of golfers are attempting to make the club head travel down the target line and at the same time attempt to keep the club face square to that line. Well, that actually is what causes a slice. In the correct golf swing, what happens is the club swings naturally back and then up and in, and the downswing must be coming from this direction. From coming this, from this direction, it allows the club face to naturally release through the ball, and this will hit the ball straight, or if anything, will put a little draw on the ball. So I have a, a drill that I like to, uh, to use for this to stop people from coming over the top, as it were. So from the top of the backswing, from this position here, I go down the grip a little, and I just practice using my hands to bring the club on the right path at the start of the downswing. Once I do that, if I go from there, I then need to allow the release to happen. So this is the drill. From here I go one, two, and three release. With that feeling, it's quite easy to get the draw ball going. Let me demonstrate with a shot. And as you see, Jono, the ball's gone long and straight with just a slight draw. That's a lovely shot with a bit of draw there, Peter. I think you explained that really well. You know, a lot of people have the impression that the club's coming down the line, but it's actually low and inside a little, isn't it, as you explained? It is just a natural hit of the golf ball. Another great tip. Thank you very much, Peter.